Welcome if you're new to the channel welcome back if you're already a part of the community of uh, the community the artist and sci the, the academy of artist and scientist I fumble with my own community's name that's so weird also funny sometimes that means thank you so much for joining in this one video we are going to talk about five ways to nurture your level two students now that you know exactly what the topic is assuming there are assuming that you are already doing your webinars your workshops you started to have you started to have con you started to have a community you started to have that initial flow of first cash to for, for your end your bank account started filling now you are also now making money when the members from level one are not joining to level two level two is a different ball game altogether level two level three level four this is different ball games altogether and we need to be working on a specific specific framework and a strategy how do you nurture those specific category of people that being said thank you so much for tuning in and we are going to dive down into five ways to nurture your level two audience level two students but we're not audience level two students students is different audience is different and if you don't know me Fazal Hamasha, F A Z L, Fazal, Fazal. That's pronounced Fazal. And being a founder of the Introvert Academy, Introvert Entrepreneurs Academy, the artist and scientist, I ex extremely I know something called it takes a lot of effort for bringing an I to an E, from an idea to an execution. That's where the whole community, the Academy of Art and Scientists, is where helping entrepreneurs who are introverts, introvert, introverts. It's such a cool thing that I'm trying to make, not trying to make, I'm making introverts entrepreneurs because introverts are always so within themselves that they don't get to have that voice stuff like this. That being said, that's a whole part of the community. If you're not part of the community, there'll be a link over here if you want to join the Academy of Arden Centers where we do crazy things and stuff like that. That being said, five ways to nurture your level two students. Assuming, now, assuming the assumption is now they, your students are now what? they are serious they are not just they just did not bought anything for impulse they just like they have actually paid you something more from level one to level two they came to all the way to level two and now they are taking actions they are more serious with what they are doing and what you're teaching and they are very interested and curious to learn more that with that assumption being the level two is all about two things game plan or action modes like they want to get into action either it can be weight loss it can be muscle gain it can be making money it can be starting a business it can be getting created leadership it can be web designing it can be fashion designing it can be horse riding it can be petting a cat it can be anything it can be looking great it can be skin care it can be reading a book whatever that is okay so they are into that action mode a in action mode okay so point number one the first way to nurture your level to students is setting the rules of engagement for this level is extremely important why do i say that what is what is the rules of engagement if you have no idea what what rule of in, rules of engagement is it's something that i've learned from a movie i was watching i kind of fascinated about a lot of uh, military movies and learn a lot of things from that because the level of discipline commitment is extremely different when it comes to military and army and those type of movies I really love them. It's like I kind of being an introvert and not being a part of athletes and games and corporate life. I have zero idea what discipline is. So I, I had to. I have to learn things from a different angle altogether. So talk about rules of engagement. When there is a commander, when when um, a, a squad of a military troop, battalion, or something like that, they go on a mission. They just don't go on a mission just like that. The whole group has got a commander, and the commander holds the rules of engagement based on the situation, based on the context the folks the group members they ask the commanders like what are the rules of engagement and based on the context based on perspective the commander orders well okay shoot on side or just extraction or whatever that is they give a clear-cut instruction like a rule of engagement what is what am i supposed to be doing so that's like the army sort of a thing very extreme example but then that's what rules of engagement is now how does that imply to us here and i really have i have i personally like this concept and i have incorporated in all my courses all of the courses that we have in academy partner scientists where every course has got a dedicated rules of engagement every call has got a dedicated rules of engagement why because i cannot help you i am not there to help you on the flip side of it what i can do is to facilitate to help you get to the goal is set some rules so that you follow those rules and when you follow those rules that's you being accountable to yourself 
how can i make you accountable to yourself by setting these rules by setting this context that's very important so when people are inside your community and upgraded to a different level to an upgraded level you need to be setting rules of engagement so that you cannot possibly sit with them and make them do stuff you can spoon feed them though you have created your courses you have, you have got masterminds you have got so many things and guides and pdfs and stuff like that to help them go into a specific direction and make those goals happen they're not they're not just going to do that no matter how much you try that's why we've got something called rules of engagement it's like you set some rules it's like okay you just don't take notes you make notes you after taking notes you do the work that you're supposed to do you start implementing the it's it's, it's waste of time if you're just consuming you start starting what you finish commenting or having a great to having a separate book for this and stuff like that so setting rules of engagement that is necessary for them to take action exam is equal to rules of engagement point number two uh this is something that i really love is we have a specific mastermind for that level now if you are a part of the community in the academy of hardness and teach we have got something called the core table for all level 1 folks okay the core members have got the core table so if someone upgrades to a different level we've got the artist table if someone upgrades to a different level we've got a scientist table you know why because every level requires a different set of perspective every level requires a different set of uh, perception every level is on a different level of receiving what i'm saying every level is on a di- this different level of taking notes every every level members have got a different level of taking those actions is based on like because every every level has got a minimum requirement and a maximum limit to it so based on this one if you're running like if you're going on a sprint is different if you are going on marathon it's a different story altogether that's why having a specific mastermind that solves a specific problem of specific members of a group point number 2 point number 3 give them whenever you get people on your community when whenever you get the people inside your masterminds of a specific group point number 3 give them weekly tasks it's like there can be a standardized equation to this one where there are like probably 10 members probably 100 members or 200 members whatever that is you can give them okay if you are here you do this if you are here you do this if you are here you do this that's one way of delivering this another way of delivering is like weekly task can be like you can bring in four to five people on the call from different categories okay you have just entered the group you have just entered this level you have been a part of this level for past two months you have part of, you have been a part of this community this this not community this group of past six months you have been a part of this community not community you have been a part of this group for the past six twelve months based on different context it's like if you tell in an open room of 50 people or 100 people like if you are if you are if you have just joined it you have to do things now you're not just addressing that one person you're addressing the whole group who have joined that level through that one person okay so that's how you set the context like you give them weekly tasks point number 4 talks about hold them accountable now that you now that people come from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 each level has got a different set of accountability now accountability is directly related to what results how fast can i give you results so how can you hold them accountable in a specific group is one of the ways you can do is let them ask question once they ask question they comes into your radar for example if someone asks you an advanced level question you answer them and make sure that next week you call that person and ask like i gave you solution to this one have you did that if not why what stopped you if yes okay this is what you have to be doing next this way you can whenever someone asks you question you can make a note of those folks and keep on holding them accountable now this will want to is you now folks inside your community the members inside your community one they will think twice before asking questions they will not just ask questions of like 10 steps ahead from where they are because that just doesn't make sense now if you want to launch a business and if if you don't have a course sacred system come you come and ask me about retargeting i'm just not going to give you those answers because that time can be given to someone else if you are like in step 1 and you ask ask me a step question of step number 10 it will 100% not make sense specifically to that one person it can make sense to the people who are running ads 
who have already built a business, who are starting the business, they know exactly what they are getting into. Now, people do ask questions with like 10 steps ahead. Like, what if I have got 500 members? Like, dude, come on, you don't even have like five members in the community. You don't even know what superpower you've got. Like, you need to be getting folks into a right set of mind. Okay, if I ask a question, I'm going to hold you accountable. Is this question really necessary to ask? If not, they won't ask. If yes, they will ask. Okay, holding them accountable to detailed and deeper manner. Point number five is daily meals with work. When folks get inside with community members get inside a specific level, what you do is you again set a sequence of meals and based on it it will be a standardized way now based it it's a definite standardized method, but then now you are making something standardized based on the pattern of folks inside a member in, inside a community right based on the regular questions we plus you have kind of studied the structure of it study the pattern of it and structures like day one you do this watch this read this whatever that is day two you do this day three you do this day four you take a break day five you do this you do this you do this you have you may you keep you create an automated email sequences for like the whole level altogether like for example if you're if you are mm, what this is if your level two is of for probably 30 days or maybe 21 days or maybe 25 days or probably 7 days whatever that is you create an email sequence for that long and every morning or every afternoon before noon you send them a mail automated so that everyone gets to have that one standardized mail because that's what they are supposed to be doing and based on that you can keep on asking them questions whether you did that or not because from your end you're giving them the best okay Point number one, set the rules of engagement. Point number two, have a specific mastermind. Don't just leave people like that. Point number three, have give them weekly tasks, weekly work. Fourth point, hold them accountable. Daily meals. Fifth point is daily meals with the work. Now, if you have made it this far inside this in this video slash podcast, comment on below. R S G H D. What's this? Rules of R stands for rules. S stands for specific. G stands for give. H stands for hold. D stands for daily meals. That means it. Thank you so much for making this podcast slash video a part of your day. I'm going to see you in an another cool video, which is going to be cooler than this video, probably cooler, very big, whatever that is. And I'm going to see you in another exciting video or a podcast. Thank you.